I was just passing by. <laughs> we live in a cul-de-sac. <laughs> so I thought I'd just pop in. Sarah, not up? No. Where is she? She's in bed. What's she doing in bed? She's asleep. What a lazy bones. I'm not stopping. <laughs> Are you reading the paper? Yes. You didn't hear the bell? No, I didn't. I'm not surprised. I was out there quite a while. I didn't hear it. Doesn't look like she's getting up then, does it? I guess not. Does she often have a lie in like this? It's not really a lie in, Malcolm. It's a quarter to eight on a Saturday morning. <laughs> That's late for me. I get up every day the same time I did when I was in the force. 5.30. Even now I'm on my own with no real reason to get up. I'm up at about bright and breezy. <laughs> Still, maybe it'll do her good. She's looked tired lately, don't you think? Maybe. Oh, I've noticed it. Has probably been doing too much. She was always the same. <laughs> anyway, I'd better be off. I've got a few errands to do, actually. And I'm sure you may have one or two things you may want to do, I'm sure. OK, sure. Oh, what is this? A removal van. <laughs> it's a bit noisy. It'll wake up Sarah. Someone must be finally moving into John Lorraine's old place. My name's Richard, by the way, and this is Malcolm, my father-in-law. Hi, I'm Kelly. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Me too. I'm really sorry to disturb you so early, because I'm moving in today. And I saw you both at the window. I don't suppose you know his Cavalier is parked there? Oh, yes. <laughs> that is mine. Guilty as charged. I've always driven a Cavalier since I was in the force. Force of habit, if you like. <laughs> oh, right. Could you possibly move it? It's just the removal men said they can't swing the van into the drive because your car is blocking them. It's on the other side of the road. They should have plenty of space. Apparently not. Thank you ever so much. Sorry to cause a bother. It's very kind of you. Fine. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, I wouldn't worry about it. I enjoy making a fuss. And I'm sorry for being so noisy on a Saturday morning, but work wouldn't give me the day off for moving. This was the only time the removal company could do. God, the neighbours will probably hate me. Oh, they'll be fine. They're a pretty tolerant bunch. She doesn't say much, does she, Wear? No, she doesn't. She, she can't talk. That'll be it, then. Been waiting all week for her to say something. I, I thought I told you that since she had the accident, she hasn't been able to speak. <coughs> she makes noises at times, or gurgling, that sort of thing. Yeah, but it... It doesn't mean anything. There isn't a pattern. Must be awful being ill and not being able to speak. Yeah. Fancy being ill and not being able to tell people how you're feeling. It must be horrid. Yeah. I've got a friend, Tracy Cancer. Tracy Cancer? Yeah. Tracy Cancer? <laughs> That's right. Do you know her? <laughs> <laughs> Well, she's ill at the moment. What's wrong with her? She's got cancer. <laughs> Tracy Cancer's got cancer? Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. I guess so, but they have said that they can cure it. No, no. I mean, it's unfortunate being called cancer and then getting cancer yourself. Oh, no, Tracy Cancer isn't a real name. That's just what I call her. <laughs> Why do you call her Tracy Cancer? Well, you see, I've got two friends called Tracy and... She's the, the one, one with cancer. <laughs> it all makes sense. Did you think that her name really was Tracy Cancer? Yeah. <laughs> now that would be cruel. Being called cancer and then getting cancer. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Just as a, a matter of interest, what do you call your other friend, Tracy? I just call her Tracy. She ain't got cancer. <laughs> no. Of course. I'm silly of me. Please. Don't go. Oh, sorry, Richard. The moment is kind of ruined. Oh, I 
I can explain. Oh, Leave me alone. I've never, in all my life, I'm sick. Absolutely sick. There's something seriously wrong with you. I can't believe you tried to do that. I needed to know how she would respond. What were you thinking? I thought if she saw us, then, you know, if there was anything left, then she'd show it. So all this was some elaborate experiment. I thought you were having fun. Richard, the fun stopped when you hid your disabled wife in the wardrobe and tried to have sex in front of her. You need help. Don't you see? I needed to find out. And did I have any say in this? I can't believe you planned this. I thought you were up for a bit of fun. I felt sorry for you. I thought you were a commitment foe, no strings. We all like to be cared for, Richard. To be wanted, to be respected. You can't just use people like that. I, I was trying to work something out. You were just using me. No, I was trying to... Oh, I don't know. I can't do this. Oh, no, just, just hold on there. Malcolm, what? I thought as much. Malcolm, what are you doing here? What? I told you I'd be watching you. I've been sat in my car outside. I knew there was something going on. Bloody hell, you two are as bad as each other, the Voyeur twins. Where's Sarah? He's hidden her in the wardrobe. You've done what? Malcolm, wait, 